What's up, up Tom? Nice to meet you. Hey, I'm Dave. Yeah. That's Aaron. Nice to meet you guys. Cohort. Pleasure. Cohort. Stop Cohort. Stop Cohort. Stop <laughs> How's it going, guys? So I, I wanted to say first thing right off the bat, and I've told the other guys this today, just from the bottom of our hearts, Jackass fans wise, thank you for putting yourself through the misery of all these movies for our entertainment, especially you guys. I mean, you guys <laughs> take thank like you. the brunt of it. Aaron I mean, does. Aaron took it. Aaron gets uh, the M- MVP on this. Yeah, one. oh, a hundred percent he gets the MVP. But you know, don't uh sell yourself short. You did some pretty gnarly things in this movie. As I got well. come on. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Everyone's getting cummed on every day. It's yeah. normal. <laughs> what a day, dude. Like, he got cummed on. He sat yeah, there. No, that's dude. just like a normal everyday occurrence for him. You know, like yeah. it's just like it's just yeah. another Wednesday, basically. Yeah, three o'clock. Yeah, exactly. Three o'clock. <laughs> Wacky Wednesday again. Exactly. <laughs> on. <laughs> now, like my first question. Hump day. <laughs> I mean, look, you can keep going on and on. I'm sure you got plenty more material. Hump day. <laughs> Late, I- already done, collected. <laughs> I'm curious. I mean, do you guys ever feel like you guys are targeted for getting the most painful or most embarrassing stunts? Like, do you ever feel like you guys get the like the the run to the litter here? Oh, that, that's just because they're a bunch of jerks and we're super nice guys that are getting mistreated. <laughs> yeah, yeah no, I agree. Stop bullying, duh. <laughs> I thought that the whole world was trying to put a stop to that shit. Yeah, when they do that not, to us, we're not. like, what the fuck? Why do you keep trying to put us in the movie more? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, between that bear stunt and then the Silence yeah. of the Lambs bit, I mean, I, oh. I look, I mean, look, I'm not going to lie. I was laughing my ass off. But on the other hand, I felt so bad for you guys because first, I mean, I don't think you even knew about the bear coming in because that was well, a real reaction. To be fair, like the, the, whole, skit the, was, in there. the, the whole skit was designed around a, a lie detector test that wasn't right. even plugged in. Right. And <laughs> so I saw that before I even sat down in the chair. And I know that when I'm getting strapped into a chair, like, and that thing was legit. It was a yeah, it looked made of yeah. metal and leather. Yeah. And there was no, I, I tried as hard as I could. And I had quite a bit of leather straps. I couldn't <laughs> get out. And so at that point, it's anything, anything could happen. And I know going into that, that anything could happen from right. before I let them strap me in. Like, I, there's uh-huh. no way they're going to like strap me in without me letting them strap me in. And that's oh, the way for all of these things. Like, Dave, Dave goes and gets on a fire hose rodeo. It's not like we forced him to. We know what we're right. getting ourselves into. Sometimes it turns out tragic, and sometimes, most of the time, it turns out hilarious. And but you know, going into these things, especially with the cup tests, like I'm not an idiot. I know it's gonna blow up my dick. Yeah, it blew up my right <laughs> testicle. Like it was it exploded my right testicle. Yeah, I, I don't think I've ever felt for you more than it was during that scene. My God, I mean, uh. you got. I mean, you guys have to have like a certain fearlessness when it when it goes into making these movies. Obviously, you're doing these stunts. They're, you know, dangerous. They're, you know, silly and over the top. I mean, but you guys are used to it at this point. But I'm curious. Never. No, no. That's the thing. Oh, you're never used to it. You can't. You can't well, get come used on. To it's it. been over a decade since we filmed the last one. Like, you're like, oh, you're not, we're not used to shit. <laughs> yeah. And even <laughs> that's fair. So, that's it's, fair. You don't get used to it. It's, it's something that no matter how, like, even if it's always fresh, raw, like, it's always as terrifying or real as it was before. Every single moment and everything we do. It's not like, oh, I'm used to getting it. Yeah, know, I'm used to taking like, a softball to the balls. Yeah. <laughs> or a softball to the nuts or having Dave Pogo stick onto my dick and exploding my right testicle. Yeah, there's no preparing like, yeah. for that. <laughs> no. So everything we're doing all the time is a constant battle of fear and, and commitment. Always. Oh, absolutely. And like that like when you're committed to that, like has that ever translated into your personal life in a way, like having that kind of, okay, I'm just going to get through this. I'm going to have this kind of can do attitude, whether it's stuff with your career or maybe stuff you want to try in your personal life, given what you've done. In that I, do, I do that. If I do end up in front of a crowd, cause like early on, I, I never set out to do anything in entertainment. I was, I was skating and snowboarding, making some, right. I mean, started making some silly videos. And then, you know, one thing led to another to jackass. And all of a sudden, you know, we get these opportunities where we're in front of these big crowds and it terrifies me. I get so freaked out and I always think I'm like, this is so much better than getting fucked up on jackass. You can do this. <laughs> yeah. And it works. Right. I channel that. And then I'm like, okay, I can do this. Or no one's going to fucking kill me. And then all of a sudden some, someone comes up off the side of the stage with a zapper right. and gets me anyways. And it's like, but yeah, yeah. it helps. I think it helps in other situations too. Just like where you're feeling a little less confident. You're like, I did some fucked up shit. Yeah. I can do it. Exactly. And I like, if I've... you're always going, if you're always doing what, you know, in theory, if you're a good person and being good to yourself and those people around you, 
you can get through anything. And having experienced these things that are gnarly and crazy for the mind to comprehend, mm -hmm. uh, it really allows you to live by that mantra of just be good, you know, and because mm -hmm. we've been through the bad a lot and a lot of people have. And I think the key of all of this was just that we want to entertain people and make people mm -hmm. laugh. So if it takes, you know, getting pogo stick by Dave on my dick, blowing out my testicle, like I said, it's, uh, it's worth to get it done. Because yeah. <laughs> the world is laughing and that's awesome. Mm -hmm. I, I, we're, we're, we're blessed and we're, we're, it's a great honor to be able to have an audience to, that can uh, watch what we do and be entertained by it. So we always yeah, gotta I, do the best we can. Yeah, and, and I honestly think this is the funniest one yet. I mean, I feel like your commitment, everyone's commitment, bar none, old cast, new cast, everyone is just firing on all cylinders. And yeah. what I love about this, Steve-O said in one of his podcasts that he felt like every movie is kind of as like different animal and that the second movie kind of was like the, the gnarliest out of all yeah. of them. Like, do you guys feel like each movie is their own separate thing or do you feel like they're part of like one cohesive whole we man said it was like putting out a different album yeah and then what it was is the first movie we made none of us had never made a movie and so we're like oh what are we doing here whoa whoa and then when it came out we're like wow we should have taken it farther you're like we're wow there's a real you're in a theater watching it you're like that's when right. you see how big this is and then when that fueled us for jackass 2 we're like mm -hmm. falls to the wall here you yeah. we, we all our regrets, but we got to retake, we get a reach a chance to redeem ourselves basically. So mm -hmm. we went hard on two mm -hmm. and then three, I think what it was, was it was so crazy. They had so much 3d camera set up that right. would take away from the spontaneity of it. And then a lot of retakes like, Hey, you're not going to believe this, but the 3d camera didn't get that. <laughs> you just didn't it. get it. It wasn't so good. Like, it's one thing when you <laughs> fucked it up, you flinched or didn't do it right. But it's, it's like, right. come on, you couldn't even fucking film it. I got destroyed. <laughs> yeah. Like, so there was that. I'm still turning out good. I'm not talking shit too much about that movie, but then oh, this one it was just a, such a huge stretch of time. We had so much time to write stuff and to think about how we wanted to do it. Right. That it really, that's why I think you're like what you're saying. And we're firing on all eight cylinders. Yeah. And I feel like this movie humanizes you guys the best. And I mean that like, and that this one has the most heart, like out of all of them, where I felt like a lot of people have been picking up on that, where like, there's this great camaraderie. Like when you guys get together for the first time on camera, it feels like you're just, it's like a high school reunion almost where like you yeah. guys pick up right where you left off. And do you feel like this movie is like the best representation of who you guys are as people, you know, rather than just these guys who do crazy stunts? Um, I think like if you go back to the beginning, you can see that at, we've, we've all been pretty much the same throughout. Um, mm -hmm. I think that because it's been so long since we did a, a movie, it did, definitely brought back that like reunion aspect of it. But in, for the most part, everyone said, you guys haven't changed a bit, you know? Mm -hmm. And so I, I think that's the whole aspect of what connects people to us is if, if we were different or, you know, we weren't the same as we were back 20 years ago, people would have moved on, but we are real people. Mm -hmm. And you know, this is how we are. Speak for yourself, Aaron. Yeah, I'm not a real person. I'm a fucking robot. Dave's a robot. I'm not a robot because <laughs> obviously, although I have enough metal in my body now that I'm almost a robot. I mean, you could pass point, for one. You could well, certainly at pass what for one. Point are you no longer a human if you have robotics in your body? Like Robocop was still a human, as far as I'm concerned. It's all about your consciousness. Not your Aaron always, Aaron's always telling me that like when he dies, he's gonna have his consciousness uploaded to some yep. bullshit thing. I've been working on that for years, dude. So, so that's been in the works for a while. A gotcha. Fucking whack job. I gotta <laughs> fucking deal with him all the time. I'm paired with him. <laughs> but see, that's why we love the guy. I mean, look, he might annoy you, but we don't get to see him as much as you do. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I love Aaron. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. it's only it's only annoying because it's the truth, and nobody wants to really face the facts you know what i mean he's, he's oh, a yeah. handful <laughs> <laughs> i'm sure and uh i wanted to wrap things up because um you guys you know this is like you know 10 years after the previous installment like you said you're not going to get used to doing this stuff especially after a 10-year gap but having the experience you had on this one where everyone looks like they're having a blast even though a lot of people are doing some crazy things getting hurt left right and center but did this one especially with the new cast coming on and giving you some added energy did it make you want to do another one or you're still like eh, let's pause for a little bit um, I think, like, to be honest, we've always not wanted to do another one and always <laughs> wanted to do it. It's like, gotcha. it's the yin and yang of it all. But the double edged uh, sword. Yeah. Mm, like, yeah. 
like we want to do it and then and then we get called up to do it and then we're doing it and it's so intense it's yeah like so what intense. did i get myself into yeah. why did why did i fucking agree to this what's wrong with <laughs> it it's brutal. what have i done it's taken years extra off of my life internally and physically <laughs> for sure but but it's for the know, fans for the fans <laughs> so i think i think we'll be doing these jackass movies till we're in wheelchairs and graves i don't know and it'll just get funnier and funnier but thank I, you guys I bet, I bet. Just thank you guys so much for taking hey, the time uh, today. Hey, tell them, uh, tell them, Aaron. Tell them. March tell 29th, him. we have uh, it's a digital release, right, Dave? It's not a stream. Digital it's all streaming. Digital. No, it's different. It's all digital. digital platforms. March 29th, Jackass Forever, and then April 19th, we have uh, Blu-ray and DVD release with 40 minutes of extra footage that was not seen anywhere else. It'll only be seen on the DVD and Blu-ray. So check it and, out. And, and digital also. The digital purchase will get you the 40 minutes bonus also. What? I swear to <laughs> freaking God. It's like you guys rehearsed this or something. <laughs> that's our first time ever. And that's not it. all, you Tom. Guys, if you, you act know? now, you will also receive. Where is it? I don't have it. I, it's out of the box. It escaped. It escaped. God oh, damn no. it. You blew it. You blew it. You blew it. There you go. There he is. <laughs> Dave's gone MIA. There it is. I never even got one. I need to get one of those. <laughs> well, now people got to get that. <laughs> but, but, guys, they're uh, so uh, no. oh, I'm, I'm He's going for Dave. the mouse. Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh. This, is, this is Chris Pontius, and this is me. Oh. <laughs> All right, Tom. Thanks for having me. Oh, us. sorry, Tom. Later. No, no, it's, it's totally fine. It was a pleasure talking to you guys. Have an amazing rest of your day. Really appreciate Cheer. it. Thanks.